Hello, my name is Justin Coughlin and I'm a jazz pianist. Music has always been a part of my life uh, ever since I was a kid. Uh, we had a piano in the house and when I was two I was already gravitating towards it. And uh, so my parents signed me up for violin lessons when I was four, mainly because they couldn't find a teacher uh, comfortable with working with visually impaired students. When I was nine, they did find a teacher, so I studied classical piano and violin. Um, big moment for me in my life was when I turned 11, and that's when I lost my sight completely. So before then, I was playing basketball, I was uh, playing video games, and those things went away when my sight went away. So music became a lot more central uh, in my life, and uh, I started to really fall in love with the pieces I was playing. And eventually, in high school is when I found my way to jazz. I didn't know anything about jazz before then, but it was a real revelation. One of the big things that stuck out for me was the fact that jazz in its history is, is mainly an oral tradition. So all of the people that I look up to learned by ear. And this allowed me to feel like I was on equal footing with uh, the other students in the class. And uh, I, I took it and ran with it, really. And I've been infatuated with, with jazz ever since. Clark Terry is, without a doubt, a uh, legendary jazz musician. Um, he played in both the Count Basie and Duke Ellington orchestras, which uh, are the most famous jazz orchestras, for sure, in, in the history of the music. And um, later on in his life, he decided to dedicate himself more to being a teacher and a mentor. So I met Clark when I was studying at William Patterson University. Uh, a buddy of mine named Al Hicks uh, wanted to bring me over to Clark's place because he lived by our campus. This is right outside New York City. And I got to meet Clark in about, I guess it was 2005 when I met him. And we met really because he was losing his sight due to diabetes. And he was having, he was having a very difficult time making that, 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 that transition. So I came over there really to give him some encouragement and comfort. Uh, and that sort of blossomed into the mentorship that it became. So I met Quincy Jones through our mutual relationship with Clark Terry. Um, he was Clark's first student back in the, I guess, the 40s or early 50s. And I was Clark's student uh, in this last 10 years. And we collided at Clark's place. Uh, I was there studying with Clark, and Quincy had a project that he wanted to do with Clark at the same time, so he showed up to the house. And it was a big surprise uh, for me and, and for, the, for, the, for the other guys that I was with. Um, thankfully, Quincy heard something that uh, he heard, I guess he heard some potential in me, and he decided to uh, lend a helping hand, I guess, and give me a, give me a shot. And he um, signed me to his, his uh, production company, Quincy Jones Productions, and I've been with him probably for the last four years. Yeah, so uh, Clark, while I was spending a lot of time with him, I was getting ready for a competition and he decided to give me a pair of lucky socks to wear at the competition. And um, they've, they've definitely been a, a big part uh, of my life ever since then. Just as something, uh, as, a, as a reminder, I, we did lose Clark a few years ago. Um, he died at 94. But the the socks, and he gave me extra pairs. Um, it's very difficult to travel uh, around the world with uh, just one pair. So, have a couple extras. So I've been here in Dubai uh, for a few months now, and it's really been amazing. Um, I've gotten the chance to travel to Europe and to Asia, and of course to play a lot in the States. And this is, has been one of the most unique experiences um, Part of, part of what's make, made it so special for, for me and for the band is to be at the hotel 
uh, the Palazzo Versace, Dubai, where Q's is. Um, this whole thing has been <laughs> amazing, really. And um, so we've gotten the chance to play five nights for all kinds of different crowds. You know, we, we play in front of uh, uh, locals, but also from people traveling and, and tourists. So every night has been different, uh, has been a whole new experience. We never know what to expect. And it has made it very exciting for us. And the reception has been really, really positive. Uh, even though people aren't necessarily familiar with the jazz you know, show or, or being a listening audience and in a club setting, uh, Everybody's been really good sports, and uh, we've been we've been having a blast. <laughs>